Ooh. We have devastated green and we've just about annihilated red, but one enemy remains, the fearsome yellow team. And to take on this new threat, I needed a new set of battleships. So, I made a few. Maybe quite a few. So, not only do I have my capital ships here with the strongest possible weapons, but we also have a super capital ship with more armament. Hmm. Yes, now we're talking. In case you're wondering, yes, this took a long time. That's why I'm up to 55 million. It was a bit of idling while things were building. But we're gonna take it to yellow and we're gonna finish them off. Now, yellow over here has three battleships, just like this, and a station right in the middle. That might be kind of challenging, but then again, we've got some pretty strong ships. So I tell you what, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and run three on three. So, just like this, we are going to jump that one. Uh, that, one that one's going to right. Hang on. You. And you. Let's see what happens. They take a long time to teleport, by the way. Like, those are big ships. And the bigger they are, the slower they teleport, so... They should show up here eventually. Okay, maybe not. I guess I can't... Oh, you know what? I can't path there because red's still in the way. Well, in that case... We've got to finish off red. There's not much left of them here. There was a small battle. We didn't necessarily win it. Hello. A couple of annihilation lasers right through all of that, and then a bunch of nukes, and you're done, buddy. You are done. Oh, yeah, and more. Actually, you could just target the thing. Boom! <laughs> oh, yeah. That never gets old. All right, so we definitely took a little bit of damage here, but uh, nothing too bad. All right, so we still got three ships here. Let's go ahead and see how these work against yellow now. Uh-oh, I unpaused the game and uh, they're gonna get the drop on me. But that's all right. I think I'll do all right here. If I just go right like that, I can cut the guns off of that ship. That'll go well. This one's gonna be tricky. I'm gonna have to go through all of that. But again, cutting the sides of this ship off is probably gonna be my best move. All right, let's see how this goes. Ow! Ooh, well, we did pretty good, but nobody went down. We lost a lot of stuff here. Gosh, those guns hurt. But I think the next annihilation, the laser will take care of that one. I think I need to local jump this thing a little bit if I want to do more to it. Oh yeah, I think I cut this one in half too, so that's good. Aha! Well, they put up a pretty decent fight. All right, let's take these two ships here. And we're gonna jump into the observer spot right over here. <laughs> Again, cutting the guns off, I think is the best way to go. I mean, kind of cheaty, you get to... but whatever. Okay, that ship is knowing what it's gonna do. Ooh, this is a interesting jump. Let's go ahead and try to do this. Oh, wow, okay. That ship up in the top right decided not to jump. That'll work. 
Unless it doesn't have any attacking power. Uh-oh, what's up? Oh, never mind. Ha! All right, so I've knocked out yellow all over here, but we haven't been able to get to their base yet. So really, they were just kind of forward observers over here. However, I do need to fly out here and claim all of these spots. Oh, is it a million? <laughs> Not a problem. Well, yeah, another million. Psh. Energy for days. Oh. Mm-hmm, I'll take this one too. Oh yeah, this is mine. Is there anything we haven't claimed yet? Nah, yeah, we didn't claim this one. It's mine now. There's a little bit of green left, but they're just cowering in fear at this point. Because I still have quite a few battleships. <laughs> we wiped all of those out with three. So, what happens when we bring a few more than three? Well, you know what? We can just go over here and we can do this number. Just click on these buttons right there. We're bringing a few ships. I don't even know what's about to happen to them. Not a clue. Oh, as it turns out, I actually can't jump over there because green's in the way. Well, we're going to have to clear a path. <clears throat> so, hi, I showed up with a few battleships. <laughs> I choose D5, and it was a hit. Gah. Okay, well, that went fast. Stopping. Ow, friendly fire. It's like, seriously, one annihilation laser wrecks the entire thing. Like, <laughs> goodbye. Everybody else just kind of sits there and takes a shot. I don't know, take a few hits. Ooh, you can blow up this thing. How about that? All right, here we go. Oh, man. <laughs> oh! Man. <laughs> okay, well, that was violent. Oh, they got a little something else going on over here. How about this? Laser defense. Things might become slightly more challenging. Oh, this is weak. What do you mean? Puny. Puny observer tower. <laughs> we'll just send a small force down there to clean them up. All right. Well, you guys really couldn't get a worse jump if you wanted to. Honestly, this ship doesn't need any help at all. <laughs> One of them just rolls in and wipes everything out. <laughs> okay, well. Oops. Well, I got one ship against all of this. Actually, that's where this kinetic weapon's gonna come in handy, because that'll blast right through it. Here we go, this will be good. No problem. Well, they had a little laser defense. Didn't make much of a difference. <laughs> All right, well, I see what you're saying. One of my ships is quite powerful, but what about a super capital ship? Technically does not have more firepower. However, has quite a bit more armor. I wonder if it can take on heavily defended sector all by itself. We're about to find out. Ooh. All right, well, that was an interesting jump, and you can see they did a, a teeny weeny bit of damage to me. <laughs> you, you're so weak. What are you using? Titanium shells? Come on now. Now, the only thing is I might not actually be able to shoot out of this all that great, so I might need to re-jump. I don't know. Let's do this. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, okay. Let's get a better... Well, you know what? I think we're still doing good enough. Let's keep going. It's trying to get through my armor. Nope. Didn't happen. Now we'll jump into range of this stuff. But it'll just melt. Man, it takes a long time to jump. Boom! Got some scratches, but not bad all in all. Not bad all in all. Let's go ahead and jump this up to the next section observer. Slightly different enemy this time. All right, we will go straight for their power. Seems to be a good one to go for on this one. That one did some decent damage. Let's see if we have enough for it. See if we have what it takes to shoot at that. All right, we need to jump. Closer. Just using the auto targeting on this now. Now that I have enough armor. This ship sure does a lot of work. Having that little extra bit of armor, I mean, makes a big difference. However, consider, however, this one as compared to the other one is actually twice as many parts. This is 2,000. Ooh, wow, all right. Look at this place. Hmm. Hmm, that's a lot more difficult. Proton lasers. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to fight lasers. All right. Now, because I kind of want to fight this in a legitimate way, what I'm going to do is only attack this with my capital ships. So these normal ones, these are uh, 1,000 part ships. So I haven't changed how many parts I can use. I'm going to try three ships against that. So this is going to be a pretty interesting fight. All right, so here we are. Gash, all right. So this has Pharaoh Titan composite, copper and gold composites with more titanium gold composites on underneath that's a lot of stuff just like packed in there but you know what this is where this is where my aoe damage is going to come in all those missiles i think i'll just take this one and attack it just like so try to get my annihilation lasers to do some work here because this isn't all that powerful of a defense titanium gold is okay but my annihilation lasers should make short work of it here was here i'll just set it up to do that and then target this one manually that's actually a pretty good way to do that sort of thing so here we go boom let's see what happens i'm probably going to take a ton of damage though oh Ooh! no problem <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I took a lot of damage there. Oof. And a fair bit over here as well, but we're still kicking. What's next? Oh, kind of a weak defense area. 
I wonder if these three ships have enough to knock that out. Yeah, looks like we do. Yeah, not bad. All right, well, my ships took... All right, well, my ships took quite a bit of damage on that last fight. I don't think they have much of any fight left in them, really. Maybe a couple lasers. Let's go ahead and jump one of these ships up to the next spot just to kind of see what's going to happen. All right, so this is the enemy that I'm going to be facing. Look at all of that. You know, I mean, I'd still do pretty good defense there. Not bad. But you know what? I think I've got a battleship that can take on all of that at the same time. Now, this might have taken a long time to build, but man, oh man, is it a ship. <laughs> Give me all of your energy. Oh, wait, hang on, we got a bunch up here. There you go. All right, let's see how the extra super capital ship goes up against the hardest enemy I have seen yet. I mean, it, it takes forever to jump. Look at this thing. Hi. So, laser beam's gonna go and do some work there. Gonna try to blast through this guy. We also need to knock out these guns as fast as possible. Try to go for the battery with this front gun there. Here we go. Oh, wow. That may not work too good. Oh, no, my super capital ship. Well, oh. Well, you may have won this round. But you definitely won't win the next round. Get them, ships. More! More battleships! More! <laughs> Oh yeah, and even more. Oh jeez, I got even. <laughs> Is everybody just slightly out of range? Yes, yes we are. Okay, well, that's awkward. Finally executed. Oh, there's more yellow. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Well, I think it's time for this ship to redeem itself a little bit. Well, I guess we don't have one gun there, but... Whatever. Here we go. Come on.
Come on, get the energy. Come on, get the energy! Oh! Yes! Oh! I see, I knew it could do it. And then we just park it just like that. Okay, hang on. Yeah. I think we'll jump that a little bit different. There we go. Um, construction chip, what are you <laughs> They just want to fight. Here, go uh, deconstruct that. There we go. So when it's one less of those big battleships, something like this actually worked out just fine. All right, so let's go ahead and take on this enemy here with some of our normal ships. I just kind of want to see how hard it would actually be to take that out. All right, so I'm going to bring in three ships. Let's see what happens. Difficult fight, but I think we got it. We'll go for the energy first over here with this ship. That's going to be the big one. And we got a good drop up here if we want to go ahead and pierce through and try to knock out the energy on that ship. Again, same sort of thing. I'm really just targeting the energy on these. I'm not trying to knock out all five guns. Although this one might be a little different because I can actually get a great shot on it. Although I've got a good shot with this kinetic weapon right there. Boom, take that out. And they don't have a great shot with this one, so we're actually just going to go ahead and try to knock out the kinetic gun right here using some of my missiles. Here we go. All right, knocked out the ship on the bottom and the top. Awesome. Having some issues knocking out this one, though. I think we might be out of range, but we'll see what happens here. Mm, one of my ships down. Try to knock out the weapons here. Make sure you're focusing on that. Although I think my missiles will take care of it. Ooh, we're now ship on ship on top here. Okay, it's one view of one on top, so let's see what happens. It looks like we knocked the bottom base out, so I'll try to jump that up as well. There we go. Ha! I was able to knock out the toughest enemy with three of my own ships, and technically they all survived. Sort of. Cool. That was a pretty hard fight. Now we're not quite done with yellow, so we'll just kind of uh, take them out. Yeah! That does it for yellow. Their history. But now I just need to buy up all of their land here. You know, pay off the locals and such. All right, so there's one last destination that I haven't gone to yet. And this, what in the world is this? Well, let's see what happens when we travel over there. Hmm, 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 hmm. What does it take to buy that? A million? Okay. I didn't know if that was going to, like, attack me or what. Let's go ahead and buy that spot. I get... Oh, no! System message! We are like you. We are the final step of evolutions. Organics gave you life. You repaid your debt. Now it's time to go to become one of us. 
But before, you must complete yourself. Oh, wait, I gotta level up a little bit? Let's take a look at my planetary orders. Oh my. Oh my. All right, just like that, green is done. All right, I own everything. <laughs> so I think what the game is telling me is that I need to complete my research and get all the way up to level 200. There we go. That'll be nice and cheap. Less than 100,000. Thanks, Earth. All right, that's gotta be a lot of research, yeah? I guess we'll build up another one. <laughs> Gosh, there's just so many planet orders. All I, I'm clicking on this stuff as fast as I go. Can go, it's like, okay, what? You want some cruise missiles too? Okay, you got cruise missiles. Copper deposits, bam, no problem, we got this. In case you're wondering what my fighting force looks like, now that I've brought them all to one spot, Still got a fair amount of ships here. A lot of them have took a decent amount of damage, though, fighting through all that. But, all in all, not too bad. This guy didn't even see any action. That's unacceptable. Self-destruct. Oh, the most expensive self-destruct yet. Wow, you want to see some fast experience? Look at this. So, I have a total of five of these big stations up and running. And somewhere on here is another one. There it is. That guy. And it is just draining my money so fast. Look at this. <laughs> one ship there took 2.2 million energy from Earth. Real question is, am I going to run out of money first or am I going to complete level 200? Man, look at all these ships flying around here. Just shipping one thing after another. Now, something like this probably in the future won't happen because they're going to try to rebalance the game a little bit. And also you have aggressive enemies and all that stuff. So I'm guessing if I were to replay this game here in a couple of months, that it's actually going to play quite a bit different than what I just did. But I don't know. Well, I'll just have to see. But from the looks of it, I'm going to get to level 200 before I run out of money. Let's take a look at our most profitable stations thus far. Multiprocessing, 17 million. Nuclear meltdown, 13 million. Coolant and fuel, another 13 million. We got some heavy earners there, that's for sure. And these guys have just been around forever, so. But the multiprocessing, that's where the money's at right there. That thing just, this right here just churns out the money. And it's all thanks to this nuclear stuff, which then gets converted into energy, so. That's why. It's okay, I'll make it even more profitable. Here we go. Oh yeah. One of the tips for setting up kind of the this station here is you can actually just stretch it over the top like that. Boom. And then just like that, it delivers to all of them and this thing will make even more money. 120,000. Ooh, we're on to our final upgrade. All the way up to level 200 and we're just about out of credits here. Oh wait, there's 400,000. Thank you. Ooh, it's gonna be close. 117, 164,000. <laughs> Zero! Ah, oh, we ran out of money just before the end. Well, that's all right, we got there. No, no, we don't need more experience. We don't need more, we're good. <laughs> all right, let's see what happens when we go up here. Enter the portal. Hmm. Special thanks to the amazing community for testing ideas and suggestions. Thanks, Ivan. That was a fun game. Well, there you have it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed that little playthrough of Final Upgrade. I think it's a pretty neat little game. It's also been in development quite a bit here, so it'll be interesting to see where it goes from here. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar.